Hello viewers, my name is Mr. Kazim and I am delighted to welcome you to my YouTube channel at Smart Edu TV. Here you will find detailed tutorials on your science courses and tips on how to answer examination questions successfully. I started this channel to also share my knowledge and experience in this field and to give you tips on how to succeed as a university student. If you are looking for detailed tutorials on physics subjects, chemistry, mathematics, biology, statistics, and the general studies, GST, then you have come to the right channel. So therefore, sit back, relax, and join me on this journey. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to never miss on an important update. Please remember to also share this video so that others can benefit. Thank you very much. So, let's look at this example. Let's look at this example that involves products or questions. A student measured the dimension of a rectangular box. A student measured the dimension of a rectangular box as follows. The length is measured as 8.0 plus or minus 0.2 centimeters. The breadth is measured as 6.0 plus or minus 0.2 centimeters. <coughs> the height is measured as 5.0 plus or minus 0.1 centimeters. Okay? Calculate, calculate the error that is associated to the volume of the rectangular box. Calculate the error that is associated to the volume of the rectangular box. Based on what we are given in the question, we are given the length. The actual value of the length is 8.0 centimeters and the error associated to that length is 0.2 cm. Also, for the breadth, the actual value of the breadth is 6 cm, while the error that is associated to the breadth is 0.2 cm. Similarly, for the height, the actual value of the height is 5.0 cm, while the error associated with the height is 0.1 cm. So, the question asks me to calculate the error that is associated to the volume of that rectangular box. It means in this question, they didn't specify. That means I'm expected to calculate any error that I think is what associated to this. I can calculate it in terms of the maximum error. I can calculate it in terms of the what? Standard error. And also, I can calculate it in terms of what? The percentage error. Since with this, the, the question is not specific. I'm only told to calculate the error that is associated to the word volume. And from formula, volume of the rectangular box is given as length times breadth times height. The volume of the rectangular box is given by this formula, length times the breadth times the height. Which will give us, here we are what, using the actual value, which is 8, 6, and 5. 8 times 6 times 5. This will give us 240 centimeters. So this is the actual volume of that rectangular box. That is the actual volume of the rectangular word box. So after getting the word, actual volume of the rectangular box, so I can also what factor the words, the error that is associated with to these guys. This will give me I will need this value, okay? 
So let's see. So from B equal to what? Length times breadth times height. Since this is in terms of what product or multiplication, it means for me to calculate the maximum error in the volume, it means the error in B over the actual value of D will give me the error in the first one, error in length over the actual value of the length plus error in breadth over the actual value of the breadth plus error in what? Height over the actual value of the what? Height. So this is how I'm going to evaluate its maximum error simply because they are multiplication. Anytime we have multiplication or division, they take this format for the maximum error. In which my error in V is the error that is what associated to what to the volume. While this V here is the actual value of the word volume. The error in L is the error that is associated with the word length. From here, my error in L is what 0.2. This is the error that is associated with the word length. Why this is what actual value of the length? 8 centimeters. Likewise, the error in the breadth for this is 0.2 centimeters, and the actual value of the breadth is 6 centimeters. Also, for the height, the error in the height is 0.1 centimeters, while the actual value of the height is 5 centimeters. So with this, I want to calculate the word, I'm looking for the maximum error in the word volume. It means I'm looking for del V. If that is the case, I can now make my del V the subject of the formula. So that I'm going to have... My del V over V will now be equal to what? For the first one, error in the length. The length I'm having, the actual value of the, the error in the length is, is this 0 0.2? Yes, I think it's 0 0.2 centimeters for the length. So the error in the length is 0 0.2 centimeters. So I'm having 0 0.2 over the actual value of the length, which is 8, 8 centimeters, plus the error in the word breadth from the word parameters given to me, the error in the breadth is also 0 0.2, over the actual value of the breadth is 6 centimeters, plus the last one, which is the error in the height, which is 0 0.1 centimeters, over the actual value of the height, which is 5 centimeters. So, this will give us error in B over B equals, so let's find the value of this in our calculator for the first one, 0.2 divided by 8 will give us 0 0.025 plus for the second one, 0.2 divided by 6, this will give us 0 0.033 plus the last one, when we have 0.1 divided by 5, this will give us 0 0.02. So at the end of the day, when we add all this together, 0 0.02 plus 0 0.033 plus the last one, 0 0.025, this will give us 0 0.078. So it means the whole of this, that means error in B, over B equals 0 0.078. So that since I'm looking for whatever in B, this can go to the word other side. That means multiply by what the V, which is what actual value of the word volume. And that volume is 240 centimeter cube. The volume is 240 what centimeter cube. So that means multiply by 240. So when you multiply 240, multiply that by that result we are going to have 18.72 so error in the volume will be 18.72 cm cube 18.72 cm watt cube that is the maximum error in the volume of that rectangular box 18.72 cm watt cube in terms of what? Standard error. 
Similarly, for me to calculate standard error, instead of what, leaving this like this, I'm, I'm going to what, square each of them. That is, I'm going to square each of them, the whole of this, for, for standard error, the whole of this square, the whole of this square, the whole of this square, and the whole of this square. So that at the end of the day, when I find the result of this, in which this v squared will go to the other side, and there will now be square root of the whole of these guys. Square root of the whole of these guys. That will give us something like this for the standard error. I'm going to have del v squared equals, so what will be the result of this? 0 0.2 divided by 8 with squared. So we have 6.25 exponents minus 4. So we have 0 0.000625 for the first one. 0 0.000625 plus for the second one, 0 0.2 divided by 6 squared. This will give us 0 0.0011 0 0.0011 plus the last one 0 0.1 upon 5 squared this will give us 0 0.0004 0 0.0004 don't forget all these guys Divide by what? V squared. In which that means something like this, multiplying V squared. So let me still leave the V squared here. So that this will give us, when I add those ones together, I'm going to have plus point six two five. I'm going to have My del v squared to be equal to 0 0.00212 2125. 0.00212125. Then multiply by the v squared. V squared, that means 240 squared. So this result multiplied by 240 squared equals so we have 122.4 so the v squared equals 122.4 so the v will now be square root of 122.4 square root of 122.4 which will give us 11.06 11.06 so the standard error in the volume is 11.06 cm cube. 11.06 cm cube. This is how we evaluate the standard error in the volume in terms of either quotient or multiplication. Either quotient or multiplication.